In today's conversation, we'll be discussing diffusers from one of my top favorite brands, PF Candle Co. It's a brand that has never missed with their candles, but can I say the same for their diffusers? Well, that's exactly what I'm about to talk to you about. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. So, diffusers. They come in many different varieties and configurations, from your wall plug-ins and car diffusers, all the way to your water-based essential oil diffusers. But the most common diffuser you will often come across in luxury home fragrances are reed diffusers. They're an amazing low-maintenance flameless option, and they kind of go hand-in-hand -hand with candles, because you will almost always find diffusers as an option from luxury home fragrance brands, and they can get quite expensive as well. Ranging from around the $30 mark to well over a few hundred dollars for the really high-end brands. But is there really a difference between the price points? Technically, there really isn't much of a difference between the ingredients used from fragrance or essential oils. What you are really paying for is that certain scent that you can't get from anywhere else and the beautiful vessel that houses the oil. So it could be a combination between glass and metal, or it could be ceramic. I like to think of it as whatever you're paying for a candle from a certain brand is what you would typically pay for a diffuser as well. But I say it all the time, just because something has a high price tag to it does not mean that it's worth it. Case in point, PF Candle Co. is one of my favorite brands ever. You all know this because I am always recommending them. And they actually sent me a few of their candles and the diffuser I'm reviewing today. I was very excited to say the least when they reached out because I had no idea they even knew I existed. I'm just a random guy on YouTube. I mean, wow. PF is one of the best sustainable vegan friendly brands out there with all of their products from candles to diffusers costing under that $30 mark. I even think they have a sale going on for a few of their scents. I'll be sure to link them in the description. They are the best everyday brand in my collection. Subtle enough to burn every day while getting the same benefits as candles that cost double the price. Okay, their candles are amazing, but now we get to the diffuser I'm reviewing today. The sandalwood and rose scent, which of course is just as nice as their candles and is described as New York meets Los Angeles. I love that description because I can definitely picture the blend of these two amazing cities with the exquisite essence of cashmere rose, oud, and sandalwood. Undeniably a beautiful blend of notes. It's something I love the PF brand for. There isn't anything complex with their scents. They simply makes what works without doing too much. For me, the rose is definitely the standout note in this scent, but isn't overpowering thanks to the sandalwood, which is what I was really hoping for. I would say it has the same scent throw as the candle variant, maybe a little stronger. PF scents are subtle, so for the diffuser, it would be perfect for a small space like a bathroom, office, entryway, or a small studio space. I like to use diffusers primarily for my bathroom, while my main space is where I spend most of my time, like my work area, kitchen, bedroom, are reserved for candles where I can keep an eye on them while they're burning. One of the main reasons I keep diffusers out of the main areas of my home has to do with becoming blind to the scent. A diffuser is constantly dispersing scent through the reeds, so if I keep that diffuser in my main space where I spend majority of my time, then my nose will eventually become adapted to that scent. So I quickly learned that I have to use diffusers sparingly by keeping them away from my nose as much as possible, which is why I keep them in my bathroom or entryway. Because every time I enter or leave the space, I get a whiff of this amazing scent and I won't have to worry about my nose adapting to it. It's a method that has worked perfectly for me. Here's a pro tip that you may or may not know already. You may think that all you have to do is put the reeds inside the diffuser and let it sit for a few months without having to do anything with it. But you may be surprised that you are supposed to flip the reeds ever so often. You can flip a couple reeds every other day or you can flip them all every day for maximum fragrance. But keep in mind, the more you flip them, the faster the fragrance oil will evaporate. It's still low maintenance, but a good tip if you want to ensure your fragrance works efficiently while making the fragrance last as long as possible. The best diffuser reeds are made of rattan, which is what PF Candle Co. uses. These type of reeds have about 20 or so channels inside of them to help with the diffusion of fragrance throughout your space. And if you've been flipping them like you're supposed to and you still aren't smelling anything, that means the reeds are clogged and they will have to be replaced. There are tons of options for replacement reeds anywhere online like Amazon. But do make sure they're rattan and not bamboo reeds. Because even though bamboo is a good natural resource like rattan, they won't perform as well because of the nodes inside of the bamboo sticks. And if you are changing reeds, make sure not to place them on any wooden surface as the residual oil could damage the surface. Most diffusers will come 
come with about eight diffuser reads. Now, how many you use is solely up to how strong you want the fragrance. Use less sticks if you want the scent very subtle, and you may need to use all eight if you want it a bit strong. For me, of course I went all in. I want it as strong as possible. But like candles, make sure there isn't any drafts from air conditioners or open windows that will disrupt the scent path to ensure the best fragrance performance. One of the best things I love about diffusers is how long they last. PF diffusers last for about four months at most, which is what you'll find in other brands, and is pretty good for the size at three and a half ounces. I also really like the amber apothecary inspired glass container that it comes in. Fits in with almost any decor style and small enough to put pretty much anywhere. Some diffusers are on the larger side, but are more like a statement piece, like Diptyque's Hourglass Diffuser or Sirtu Dome's Loft Diffusers. Just magnificent, beautiful statement pieces. The only thing I wish PF had for their diffusers is an option to refill them, but I don't mind as much because of the price point. Their diffusers are $24, which is amazing for the quality. With more expensive diffusers that cost around $150 and up, you're paying for the container or vessel only once and you'll just have to buy the refills after that. But even the price of the refills are exceeding that $100 mark. So if you're looking for an amazing diffuser in that sub $30 range with sustainable vegan ingredients and that's made in the US, I'm recommending PF Candle Co. every time, no questions asked. I quickly want to touch on using this diffuser fragrance oil with those water-based diffusers. While yes, it is considered fragrance oil, but at the same time, I don't think it was formulated to use with other types of oil diffusers. I also think it won't perform as well. So to avoid damaging anything, I do not recommend doing that. I would stick with oils specifically made for water diffusion. I will have links to PF Counter Co. and replacement rattan reads that I use in the description. And no, PF Counter Co. has not missed yet.